Paramedics, Mrs. Walters. Check, check responsiveness while I pull up her URL. Looks like her defibrillator just shocked her heart. She's in a sinus rhythm now with lots of ecstasy. Let's prepare for lidocaine. Let me check her SYNCAP history real quick. Okay, her SYNCAP history is clear. Let's give her 100 milligrams of lidocaine. Okay, the lidocaine's on board. Tubes in. Let's check one time. Okay, I quit. Okay, good breath sounds bilaterally. <sighs> Mrs. Walters, if you could hear me, squeeze my hand. I think she's starting to respond. Oh, Doctor, oh, he's been bleeding so much today. Is it going to be a Do you have the blood pressure? Take care of the fire rule 52. Oh. I'm going to take a look at your records okay. from the previous visit. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, this is Frank Maddow. Okay. So we just selected. And now we're on the cover sheet, which gives us the fact that he's had diverticulosis. That may be what he, where he's bleeding oh, wow. again. So the okay. other data is to look for what happened to him in, the, uh, in his lab work. Can we check his hematocrit baseline? We can go over to his laboratory. And I always like to use the worksheet because that gives me a long view of the whole problem. You can see back in 1993, he had right. a very, very bad mm -hmm. episode. Now, along with the bad episode, we noticed that uh, in 1993, there are some uh, pieces of information over here. The uh, uh, his colonoscopy, and uh, we're looking right in there. There are his diverticuli. Sure. And over here, we're seeing a lot of blood coming down the colon. This man is in major trouble. Mm -hmm. And over here, there is a, a film taken at that time. Notice that that film is an arteriogram, uh -huh. and uh, we can make that larger. Can look around. I see something up in this mag view here, but uh, I think I probably need to change the leveling. Notice there is a little bit oh, of yeah. bleeding probably way out here in the uh, colon consistent with this diverticulosis uh -huh. and uh, I think that may well be what's going on now. Uh, I think probably the best thing for you to do is uh, is order a uh, nuclear uh, scan since he is okay. actively bleeding we can take advantage of that now. Uh, radiology orders select nuclear medicine and then many of the nuclear medicine studies are already listed ahead I'll go down to gastrointestinal and uh, notice that there is a gastrointestinal bleeding study back in the patient. Okay, great. Hold perfectly still. Can't bump anything here. Okay, I'm going to get this over the area of your heart. That one, we're starting right now, sir. This will take about 20 minutes. Make sure do not move. Hey, Elliot. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Is this the GI bleeder that's in the emergency room? This is. There's um, blood all across the uh, proximal um, colon. So, indeed, this is positive. The patient is actively bleeding. And our best bet, looking at the early images and the cine images, is it looks as though it's in the proximal to mid transverse colon. Great. Thanks, Elliot. I'll get the GI fellows to scope. Yeah. This uh, patient apparently bled about five years ago. Some more pressure here. Let's take a look and see what we can figure out. Um, I guess at this point we're looking for things like diverticuli, mass lesions, arterial venous malformations, although my understanding was that his previous studies uh, really didn't show very much, so it's unlikely that in those years uh, he, it would be a, malignant, a malignancy at this point. Uh, okay, Dr. Kai, you capture that image. It looks like we've got uh, active bleeding going on here in the lower colon. Why don't you just uh, freeze that? Okay, got it. Okay, I think that'll that'll prove useful. It looks pretty good. There's some uh, blood in the field right there. Uh, you and agree? And clot. We uh, endoscoped him this morning, and he has uh, a little bit of blood, actually a fair amount of blood, probably somewhere in the descending transverse colon with these diverticuli, and we're trying to figure out whether we should... Uh, do an angiogram. So I, I thought I'd, you know, ask, see what you thought about it. Well, uh, you've given me the facts that this is the second uh, episode of his lower GI bleed, looking from the same site. Um, I would uh, 
consider the possibility of angiogram, but perhaps uh, even surgery as a first option. Well, he's doing uh, much better. He did have chest pain when he first came in, but as you can see from the electrocardiogram that we've now gotten, it is quite similar to his previous tracings. Uh, we also see his old uh, uh, colonoscopy, and you can see that he did have quite a bit of bleeding uh, and uh, had a marked hematocrit drop uh, in, uh, in 1993, which seems to be the same now. He's dropping uh, at this point uh, as low as 25. Dr. Siegel, were you able to take a look at the angiogram? I was. As you can see, we've um, performed a selective SMA injection. I think we can probably best see it on the Cine loop images on the Vista Rad system. And when I Cine the images, you can actually see the area of contrast extravasation blinking on and off, and um, you can see the entire run. So the study is positive for mid transverse colon GI bleed. This information lets many specialists act as a team with all the information needed for patient care at their fingertips. In addition to patient's records, clinicians have access to a wide variety of information, including breaking developments in medical care, medical journals, and practice guidelines. The VISTA imaging system allows clinicians and consultants to access images from other hospitals and medical care centers using the VA's wide area network. This can make critical information available in urgent situations and can reduce unnecessary patient admissions and repeat examinations. Standards allow full integration of information from a large variety of sources, including hospital information systems, order entry systems, DICOM compliant radiology equipment, commercial EKG systems, and other medical image producing devices.